The Occlusinator Composite Finishing System by Dr. Mark Gottlieb. I'm a general dentist and dental anesthesiologist. After 40 years of practicing dentistry, I often look back at that snapshot of dental school and think about all I've learned after. So many clinical and business tricks, tips, and time-saving solutions to pass along before I retire. I'm more of a form and function kind of clinician, envious of my classmates and colleagues who can place and sculpt that ideal restoration. A good friend of mine, a MacGyver-type dentist, showed me how to use the occlusinator composite finishing system, and I never looked back. Even in my hands, the system allows me to create beautiful anatomic carvings in seconds and restore that tooth to an ideal occlusion. This simple system utilizes a posterior packer, sculptor combination instrument for the bulk shaping. Once the composite material is cured, you then connect the imaginary dots on the occlusal surface with a drag and drop motion. Here is a short tutorial video that's done by Dr. Patrick Rett. I'm going to use the uh, PPS instrument, the posterior packer and sculptor. The, <clears throat> I have a 0.8 millimeter end on, on one side of it and a 1.5 on the other side. What I'm doing here is pushing that band, making sure there's no flowable or anything and where I don't want it. Now I'm ready to pack my paste. This is a bulk fill material, good for five millimeters. After I pack that, with the large packer and the small packer, I will have the material exactly where I want it. And you'll notice the other end of that instrument has a very robust ball burnisher and an acorn burnisher for the starting points of my hard sculpting. So here I'm pushing that paste into those nooks and crannies, rolling it over the the occlusal portion of the interproximal area of the band, making sure there are no gaps anywhere. I'm not concerned about carving this. I'm going to go to the hard state. I will use the other end of it to do a little bit of a, a starting point with that acorn. Then I hit it with the light. I harden it to the maximum now. Now I'm using the 50 micron medium-sized acorn with the limit stop and the safe edge. The safe edge protects the enamel. The limit stops prevents you from carving too deep. So I start in the distal pit or the central pit and I go to the next pit halfway. Then I go to the next pit and bring it back the other halfway, thereby creating planes. These planes will define the triangular ridges, the transverse ridge on the upper, the fifth cusp. It does everything for you. It's like automating your hands, making your hands robotic. Look how nicely that forms the planes and how quickly it does it. The reason I use this 50 micron is because it leaves a very smooth surface. And yet when I go to finish those planes, I'm going to go to a Christmas tree burr, which has a 15 micron diamond. And what that's going to do now is not just finish them, but also polish them to the point where I really don't need to go in there with any polishing points. Another time saver. To define, redefine, deepen, do whatever I have to do, put secondary anatomy in. It's the same angles as, this, as the other two larger acorns. You can also use it for fissurotomies or for box preps. Works beautifully for pedo teeth. And again, limit stop and safe edge. You cannot scar the enamel with this. So there you are. We've matched the anatomy of the adjacent teeth very quickly. No dipping, dabbing, adding stuff here, adding stuff there. It's done.